I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. What is going on everyone? Shane here, Shibby2142 with some Modern Warfare 3. This is Domination on Carbon. The loadout I am using is the MP5 with rapid fire extended mags. So that would be the two attachment perk. It also has blue camo. For my secondary, I'm using the P99 with a silencer, although I don't really use it that much. Semtex concussion grenades, Sleight of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, Stalker Pro. For my support kill streaks, I am using UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. For my death streak, I am using Juiced. As I explained in my first Modern Warfare 3 video that I posted earlier today, this experience is new to me. I did not play Modern Warfare 2 at all. My first Call of Duty was really Black Ops, and that was just during the free weekends. So this is all fresh to me, so some of you say, wow, this looks just like Modern Warfare 2. To me, I wouldn't really know because I didn't play it. Coming from someone who typically plays Battlefield and the Steam games most of the time, I am actually enjoying this because, once again, it's fresh for me, and I enjoy how it rewards the player when playing. What I mean by that is the game is constantly rewarding the player for playing. That is something that Call of Duty does very well. It's addicting. And what I mean by that is you are constantly getting different unlocks, different upgrades for your weapons. One thing that this game is doing, that being once again Modern Warfare 3, is as you use a weapon, so this is once again the MP5, you level up your weapon. So right now my MP5 is level 25, and that will get me different attachments, different perks such as kick, which reduces the kick, or also the two attachment perk. So it's really interesting how you can customize your weapons in this game. I can go over it in more detail in a later video, but right now I'll kind of just explain that if you use a weapon, you don't have to actually buy any more perks such as Black Ops, you just earn it which I really, really enjoy. For those who are new to Domination, basically what is going on here is there are three capture points throughout the map, that being Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, and you want to capture them, and then that adds points every few seconds. So right now we are two capped. What that means is the enemy has A and B. You see they're in orange. Our team has Charlie, which is in green. So right now, for every tick, the enemy is getting double what we're getting. And you especially do not want to be dominated, which means that the other team or your team has all the capture points. So typically to win one of these games, you want to have at least two of the three, and that will help you get into a lead compared to the enemy and typically do well. What domination reminds me of in Battlefield is Conquest, but in Conquest you start with tickets and you want to bleed your enemy out by capturing 50% or more of the flags and also killing your enemy. While kills do not count directly towards the points in this game type, it does obviously help advancing your team into capturing, defending, things like that. So basically conquest in reverse with some other slight differences. So actual gameplay here, I am running around with my MP5. Once again, that is my primary. And using the advanced UAV, you see that right there. I'll explain what kind of kill streaks are really going on right now. So as the support Specialization, that's what I would call it because you have the assault, you have the support, and you have the specialist. So right now I'm using support, which does not reset your kill streaks after you die. So I am constantly adding onto my total for the kill streaks. So I have UAV, which I used right there, and then I earn counter UAV. So that's my six button. You see bottom right, just activated that. And if you see the bar, lower right side once again, so bottom right, you see there's a kind of a meter that's halfway full. I just got a kill and that adds one more bar to it. That's adding the kills until I get to my advanced UAV kill streak. So once again, I'm just consistently going through the cycle of my kill streaks instead of saying, oh, I die right here, perhaps I have to start over. Nope, I just keep tacking it on. So I've seen some people use some kind of interesting support setups where they run mostly high and then eventually they'll get there even if they're dying maybe 10 times prior because once again it doesn't matter it doesn't reset while if you're using assault such as more of the deadly things such as I don't know the AC 130 that's pretty good at killing people right that will reset if you die so that would be just stupidly overpowered and just totally horrible and then what happens with the specialist is you select perks that you'll earn as you gain your quote-unquote kill streaks. Oh. 
So eventually, as you reach the final end of your specialist kill streak, you will be using all the perks in the game. So it's kind of interesting where your character then becomes the kill streak. And that's pretty fun. So I'm really interested to see what actually happens, what kind of setups people run. I know a lot of the big time Call of Duty commentators will probably be running all assault kill streaks really high to be all super leap pro and stuff like that. But right now, I am a guy who loves the UAV, who loves to encounter UAV, and just helping the team. That's what support is to me, helping the team, not being selfish. So that's what kind of Call of Duty player I am. I don't know if that's my Battlefield background or just being, you know, kind of cultured because I play many games. I'm not sure, but that's kind of my nature is playing the medic, which you can't really do in this game. So you can't really revive that well. I'm not sure if there's going to be a last stand, which then you can revive, but really kind of a broken mechanic. At least it was in Black Ops, so I don't really want to touch on that too much, but it's not quite like the Battlefield medic. So I am one kill away from my advanced UAV, which I'm going to get as I play the objective, trying to capture points on domination. So I got to my 12 point streak. Then I'm going to start back over after I use it. And then as you see bottom right, I am now at nothing. So once I get my four kills, I go to my UAV, get that fifth kill, counter UAV, 12 kills, get my advanced UAV. The reason why I'm using certain perks is to benefit and complement my playstyle, such as Sleight of Hand, which reloads faster once you get the pro version, you swap weapons faster as well. That's nice. I'm also using Quick Draw as my second perk, which helps you aim quicker. So, kind of same name. And then for Quick Draw Pro, recover from equipment and grenade usage quicker. So, I like throwing my tactical grenades and regular grenades quite often, so this is very nice. And then Stalker, which helps me aim down sights and enable to move quicker. So it's very interesting, as I talked about in the first video, where you can aim down sights and actually move around the map faster. I don't know, it's, it's hard to get used to because I'm used to jumping and then being slowed down once aiming down the sights, but now it's very fast. And with Stalker Pro, it's a uh, plus delay detection triggered explosives. So hopefully explosives don't blow up in your face as fast. So if you didn't know about dripping that chocolate sauce in this game, the max level is 80. Quick scoping has returned, which was kind of absent from Black Ops. There is a prestige shop, which unlocks after you choose the prestige the first time, which gives you tokens to buy exclusive features, such as double XP or a custom weapons class, stuff like that. So there's certain prestige options that actually give you certain benefits after you prestige instead of just, oh, I think I'm a prestige because I'm bored. So that's kind of more options for the player, which is pretty cool. So with about four hours of play time, one thing that I definitely want to suggest once again is that you learn the maps, learn the angles, and take the time to kind of figure out what typically people do. Because if you know what people are going to do ahead of time in your mind, you will play better. Now, I probably should have knifed that guy. That's one thing that I am working on is getting used to the quick knife, which is definitely not the case in Battlefield 3, where the knife is pretty fail most of the time, so I just shoot people. And I'm trying to break that habit to kinda rework the whole routing within my brain that, man, I should really try to knife more often because it's super effective. Almost getting my two piece here does not work out though. Get taken down by the UMP 45, which is one of the best submachine guns in the game. So my suggestions from everyone I've talked to is either to use the MP5 or the UMP 45. Very good choices, and then for the assault rifles, I've heard the ACR and the Type 95 are probably the oh, best okay, assault rifles. One thing that I have heard as well is that all guns are actually pretty decent in this game. It's not like, oh my god, everyone's just running around with FAMAS Red Dot. So far, that is not the case. Obviously, the game just came out, but it seems like people that got it early are saying that every weapon has its place. There's not just a couple joke guns, such as there were, in my opinion, Same in Black guy, Ops. Man. And one thing that's pretty cool in this game that I noticed is that the first classes that you can play with before you can actually create a class, I think that's at like level 4, is that they give you pretty decent guns like the G36, the UMP, all that kind of good stuff. So it, almost the best weapons are available right at the start. And here we go, Juggernaut vs. Shibby. I had no idea what the hell this thing was on my UAV. It's this kill streak that the player then becomes the juggernaut. And he's trying to smash me, and then he does with his shield. Reminds me of Counter Strike 
1.6 when people could try and shield bash you. So I'm like, okay, buddy, that was a bunch of BS. It's time for you to pay. So later on the round, he gets his. Because I'm trying to take out his buddy, do that, get my UAV. But we have Mr. Look at me. I'm a big juggernaut. I keep getting my shield. I'm a big beast. And then me, Jerma, and this other guy get owned by a Predator Strike missile. That typically happens. You should be keeping your eye once again on the UAV to try to prevent that yeah, if you see one coming in. Run for your life, especially if you're next to a teammate, because usually people aim for the two pieces, if not more, and then getting shot in the ass because people are just really kind of just floaty in this game. They don't really understand how to cover teammates, but it seems like it's better than it was on a console. Also note that the Juggernaut icon stays on your minimap at all times when it's being used. We went from dominating the opponent to being two cap, so things can change very quickly if your team is not paying attention. And if you've noticed my gameplay, I am playing the objective and just constantly running around because I enjoy not just sitting in a corner prone. I'm going to keep moving, keep running around because if I want to actually sit down and snipe, I'll probably be playing Battlefield instead of quick scoping and all that kind of crazy stuff on Call of Duty, which I've uh, tried a little bit with the Barrett 50 Cal, which you get on your first recon class. You don't need to unlock it or buy it or anything. It's just there. Pretty decent. And if you've noticed, the game has went from us losing early on to pulling it back, taking out the enemy, and we end up winning. So you get to 200 points. That is a GG. Victory score limit has been reached. So, pretty fun round, map bonus of 2,000. I get my final kill cam, taking out the guy who was trying to take B. We got GG's in the comments, and 43 kills, 8 assists, 20 deaths, with a score of 3,080. So, top scoring, top killing, everything like that, doing my thing, getting steady aim, different unlocks, stuff like that. So, that's kind of it for this gameplay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And hopefully I will see you next time. Enjoy this bonus clip. So once again, thank you for watching the video. That was some Modern Warfare 3. A like really helps out Gilbert. Dislikes don't really help you out, don't they, Gilbert? Yeah, not really. So uh, tell a friend and tell them to check out my channel. That would be awesome. Oh, Gilbert Kitty. Where are we going? We're going Kitty Scarf or Kitty Escape Pod? Or just Kitty Backpack? I don't know. So that's really it. Thank you for watching the video. Share it with a friend, and hopefully I will see you next time. No Shave November Chocolate Sauce.